Next, we're going to create a use effect. And inside of this use effect, we're going to pass a callback function where we are going to fetch the data from the database. And here we're going to create a function called fetch products. And this is going to be an asynchronous function. So I'll specify async here. If you want to learn more about that, I have a video, leave a link up top and down below for you guys. We don't need to pass any parameters into this. So we'll leave that blank. And inside of this function, we want to use a try. Inside of this try, we'll create a variable called response and we're going to use await and we want to await the information coming from our database and we want to get that information using fetch. And here we need to specify where we want to get this from. So we're going to get this from our locally hosted server. So I'll specify a local host. And then since we started this server on port 4000 in our backend, we need to specify that here and we're already connected to our database from our back end. So we just need to select what collection we want to get. So we'll specify our products collection here. Now I need to create a variable called data. And again, I want to use await. And here I want to await the response, but I also want to turn this into a JSON. And then from here, I can call the set products state function to set the variable here to the data coming from my backend using my data variable. Now I need to set up a catch and I want to pass my error into this catch. And this is only going to run if we have an issue getting any information from our database here. So inside of this, it's essential that we console dot error. And we want to say there's an error fetching products and then we want to display our error. Underneath this, we want to call our function. So we'll say fetch products here. And this is called like a normal function. And then between the curly brace and the parentheses, we need to tell this use effect when it needs to run. So we'll include a comma. And since we only need this to run one time when our application renders, we'll use empty brackets here, like an empty array. And instead of returning this div, what we want to do is return our products, which again is going to be this variable here, which is now storing all the information from our database. Tap here for more.